Good morning, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so yesterday I left off with my back being like out and I uh, just vlogged that little bit whenever um, Rylan and Domily came over to do laundry and then we went to dinner with Jonathan. Um, so today I took a pain, I, put, I took a muscle relaxer last night and today it still hurts but it's manageable. So I'm trying to be really easy on it. Um, lots of heat, um, just trying to relax. Um, obviously, I, if I stand for too long, too much bending and stuff like that hurts, so I'm trying not to do any of that. But, Jonathan and I do keto, and I think, oh, pretty much everyone knows that, unless you're new here. Um, we follow the ketogenic diet or whatever. We're lazy keto, though. We're not super strict. We've lost, I've lost over 100 pounds total, not just from keto, and Jonathan's lost almost 200 pounds. Um, also not from keto uh, about half of that is keto related and half was from before keto <coughs> Excuse me. So one of the things that I've been missing and so is Jonathan is tamales We live in Houston, Texas and tamales are Everywhere and it's one of Jonathan's like faves because he works at an auto shop and the wives of his mechanics and customers and stuff like that will bring tamales um, semi-regularly and he never gets to eat them so long story short or long story not quite as long I'm on my way to Tomball which is about a 40 minute drive because there's a new tamale shop or there's a tamale shop up there and they've created a keto tamale and so I'm gonna drive up there now um, like I said it's only 40 minutes and we're gonna check them out let's go so I'm here at what is it Caroline's kitchen, Caroline's kitchen. in Tomball it's a cute little place so I came from Cyprus so it was like a 40 minute drive <laughs> cute yeah don't look at all my bags we have <laughs> so this is a keto tamale yes. I'm assuming you're Caroline I am Caroline all right I'm excited to try it I'm excited for you to try it The little tiny bites. Yeah. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. I wanna get it on camera. Alright, so here we go. It's chicken. Cream cheese jalapeno. Cream cheese jalapeno. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so good. Very tamale flavored. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's, that's, we do tamales here for a living. That's what I do. And we do gourmet tamales, different flavors, different kinds. Different wow. Fusion things that we do here. And um, I try to do my best to eat ketogenic all the time. And, you know, I still eat tamales every day. We've been doing this for a long time. And wow. I, you know, I love them and I want to eat them and I want other people to eat them. And, you know, the. Eating ketogenic is a real thing. It's it's not a joke. It's mm -hmm. not pretend. And my goal was to create something that tasted delicious, mm -hmm. that didn't make you go, I don't want to eat it. And it really made you want to eat it. Forget about it just being passable. Yeah. I wanted it to be delicious to where you really wanted to come in here and get it. Yes. It's, it's amazing. Okay, so me and my husband have been keto since July. Uh -huh. um, we've lost almost 300 pounds, not just from keto, because we did originally lose about half of that beforehand, uh -huh. but the other half is from keto. Uh -huh. And he, oh, it works. yeah, it totally works. It's a lifestyle thing. Like we're never gonna go back. Yes. We're never gonna go back. It's forever now. Like and so finding stuff like this, and like you said, it doesn't like it's not like a Passable. yeah, it's not like a. Duh, Okay, tamale, I get it, you know, but it actually tastes like a legit tamale. Yes. Right. Very, very oh, good. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. So when are you going to start making them? This weekend, this okay. weekend, I have an event tonight, and I have an event on Sunday. I'll be here at the shop tomorrow, so I did bring um, some of the ingredients. So we'll have some tomorrow, Damn. next week. That's amazing. Yes. I do. <laughs> She's got high standards I mean, I'm here. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. 
I'm and so you're keto too, yeah. or are yes. you just okay? Cool, cool. It started on Monday, so. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> I love keto. <laughs> it yeah. changed my life. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it's amazing. About this. I'm so excited about this. Dude, it even like holds up. See? Yeah. Cool. And you're videoing, that's right? right? Yeah, I'm videoing. That's the whole thing about a lot of people we were having discussions. Is it going to hold up? Is it going to be a, a real tamale? tamale? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or is it going to be masa feels legit. like a cupcake with <laughs> or, you know, what's it going to be? But so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, it cuts like a normal tamale. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Oh, Isn't that so good? I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm allowed to eat this. Yes. Yeah, that is, um, well, there's proprietary ingredients in there, but everything is 100% keto. Right. It is oh coconut flour and flax. I and can't believe that there's coconut flour in there because it doesn't have that weird taste. It doesn't have that weird taste. You did an amazing job. Yeah, and it's organic. The masa is 100% organic. Wow. The coconut flour is organic. The flaxseed is uh, organic. It is crazy, isn't it? I'm so oh excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to eat lunch every day. That's the whole plan. The whole plan. And um, I'm already really proud of the tamales that we do as it is, but just to throw this in the mix, to me, it's going to be a huge... It smells like the fatty mountain <laughs> peel of um, <laughs> It's a huge... Okay guys, real quick, it's the next day, but I just want to jump in here and I don't feel like I wrapped up the little keto tamale segment very well um, <clears throat> because my back started hurting really bad and I kind of just got a one track mind. And while I was editing this, I felt like it got a little choppy. I'm actually a part of the Houston Keto Family Group on Facebook and Caroline, which was the lady from Caroline's Kitchen with the tamales, um, had posted that her keto tamales were available to try. And so I basically just hopped in the car and drove out there. Jonathan is a huge, huge tamale like freak. He loves tamales. I like tamales as well, but I mostly went out there to try them for Jonathan and then also because it was a keto product and something that was already available like ready-made is just really exciting because you mostly have to make everything on your own or you're eating a whole bunch of like bunless burgers fajitas salads like there's not a lot of stuff that's specifically made for keto you can just make it you know you can just take the bun off and then it's keto type foods so i was really really excited to head out to tom ball and try them and i would say in my opinion they are perfect um they have just like i was talking about the video there's no weird like aftertaste the coconut flour is not weird like sometimes when you make keto products because of the flowers that you have to use the consistency can be a little grainy or a little weird or whatever i didn't feel like that at all with this tamale caroline did an amazing amazing job and i'm super excited for when they go on sale and then i'm also super excited for whenever she expands her business um, right now it's just a little um, a little shop she does like breakfast tacos she has um, tamales obviously like all kinds of gourmet tamales and then she does some sweets and treats but she is actually interested in purchasing the storefront next to her and expanding her shop and putting a couple like four top tables um, so that people can come and eat there and she's interested in doing like more keto friendly um, things so i'm really interested to um you know see what happens with that i love the idea of being able to go into a store and purchasing like stuff that's ready for us to eat from keto so i would say that if you're in the houston area and you are doing keto um it's worth the drive i mean especially if those are the things that you're missing if you're missing you know a real keto tamale she's she's planning on making all of her tamales will be available in keto um, except for the um the boudin because that has rice in it so you just can't unfortunately you can't get away from that one you have to make like a whole different i mean the boudin would have to be keto by using like cauliflower <laughs> uh but i mean hey if there's a market for it i would eat it i miss boudin a lot you will see in a couple clips that I did bring a sample for Jonathan to try um, and he enjoyed it as well. All right, that's all. Back to the vlog.
not, but um, you can always message uh -huh. and I'll answer and let you know if we have them or not as well. Okay. That way. I think I am on there. Um, and actually, I thought about it, but I was driving, so I was like, oh, no, it's all good. I was like, I, lucky. yeah, like I figured I'll just swing by. It wasn't too far out of my way. Yeah. Just trying to get the bag closed again. That's the hardest part. <laughs> all right, there you go. Twelve dollars even. Any kettle corn or anything today? Uh, no, that's all. Thank okay. you. Eight dollars. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, sorry. How big you are. So she's not selling them yet because she wants people to try them first and make sure that they were acceptable keto tamales. We'll find out. Prepare yourself. Alright, okay sir. Uh, Interesting. Close. Nissan Versa. Nissan Versa? Nissan Versa. Broke up. Uh, I wanted to be a little bit front right now. Thank you. The outside? Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a little bit firmer, but everything else is good. I like it. Alright, guys, I'm back home. Um, it's later in the evening, as you can see. It's dark outside. Um, it's about 7 o'clock. I came home and. I just overdid it on my back like I didn't, um, I should have probably rested more but I didn't and I pushed myself a little bit too hard and it started hurting pretty bad so I took another pain pill or I took a muscle relaxer and then I took a pain pill and I went to sleep and I slept for like four hours but it wasn't very good sleep like I would sleep Honestly, it felt like I was asleep for like an hour, and when I woke up, I was like, oh my gosh, I've been asleep forever. Um, but I really didn't even want to take the pain pill, but Jonathan was trying to encourage me because he said that it'll help me like relax and rest or whatever. And now I'm regretting it because I feel really sick to my stomach, and I usually feel that way when I take pain pills. Like, the only ones that don't make me feel this way are Tramadol, and that's not what I took. And I don't know if you can tell a little bit in my voice, like I feel like I'm slurring a little bit, like I'm still obviously like being affected by it and I feel super nauseous and like I could barf at any moment. <laughs> I did have to force myself up and out of bed and to get dressed though because I had a subpoena that I needed to serve and luckily the guy came here. Like this only has happened one other time and it's with the same guy. Um, apparently he lives really close to my house and so whenever he, I leave a message and he goes on duty, he gets the message whenever he's coming on to work and so he's just like, I'm right by your house, it's not a problem for me to stop by. And I'm so glad because I was not wanting to drive. I mean, even if I'm not under the influence of anything, I don't feel very good and sitting in the car makes my back hurt really bad. But I got it, there's a signature. He came to my house. That always trips Troy out. He's like, how in the world do you get him to come to your house? I don't know. I think I'm probably gonna just go ahead and wrap up the vlog because I'm probably gonna go to sleep. Still haven't heard anything on the house. Um, so we were supposed to close today. Obviously that didn't work out and I don't know any new information, unfortunately. Tomorrow, I'm excited for this like vendor party thing that we go to every year, but I don't know how I'm going to do. I can't stand for very long. My back really hurts, so we'll see how that goes. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the thumbs up button, the notification bell. And I will see you guys next time. Okay, oh yeah, well it's recording now. So, how far along are you? 15.